when you are using an enclosure you cannot get the maximum speed of the ssd you get the maximum speed of the enclosure these enclosures have the maximum speed of 10 gigabits per second they cannot go beyond that in a pc like this one things are totally different and the speed of the nvme matters for example while for an NVMe enclosure it doesn't matter if the SSD is PCI Express 3 or PCI Express 4, for a PC like this one it matters. This one is 500GB P2 from Crucial. I do not see the maximum speed right now here. PCI Express 3. And I have another one, Legend 960 Max, PCI Express Gen 4x4, same format but it has read up to 7400 megabytes per second and write up to 6800 megabytes per second. These two, I will test them with a Windows PC and with my MacBook Pro. Only one enclosure because I've tested all three of them and they have more or less the same speed, so it doesn't matter which one I choose, I will always get somewhere around 10 gigabits per second. This motherboard in the back has one port which can reach up to 10 gigabits per second. And then I will show you how important is the speed when you are connecting the SSDs directly to your PC in this case. I do not have a laptop which has NVMe slot. I have this PC, so I will test with this one. Fortunately for us, this PC has two NVMe slots, one here and one below here and the difference between them is somehow significant. This one is PCI Express 4, of course, if your CPU supports PCI Express 4, and this one is binned to the motherboard chipset and it has only PCI Express 3. But for this SSD, it doesn't matter where you put it, you should get the same speed. Using this SSD, not only PCI Express Gen 4, it has also very good read and write speed, on these slots it will be totally different. I'll add something else to the mix, this internal PCI Express adapter. I will use it on the PCI Express X2 slot, which is uh, PCI Express 3. This is what you should find in the box. We have here the NVMe SSD, um, heat plate. This NVMe has um, high speeds, I'm pretty sure it will reach uh, high temperature so this uh, sink is very important to be installed and also you see it is quite thick its real sink is not only a thin plate like you can find in different ones for example this uh, 500 gigabytes crucial i have it with a simple plate i bought it separately it's just a simple metal sheet sheet not sheet yeah <laughs> and this one is uh, a real sink Uh, be careful when you remove it, it uh, sticks there. FYI, if you want to use this with an NVMe enclosure, you may have to lose the sink. Anyway, these two are metal, full metal, and the enclosure itself is a sink. The moment you close the lid, this back plate is a heat sink, yeah, heat plate. So I will install it like this, it doesn't matter much, I will not even reach the maximum speed, so for sure the heat will not be that high. Let's get straight to speed test. So as you can see, you have two different SSDs, two different USB ports, a Thunderbolt 4, which is capable of 40 gigabits per second, and USB 3.2 Gen 2 of 10 gigabits per second. 
No matter how fast is your SSD, a USB or Thunderbolt port, if you have an NVMe enclosure with 10 gigabits per second, you will get close to that. Switching to a data legend, you can clearly see how important is the speed when the port or the slot permits it. So M2A CPU with PCI Express 4x4, uh, 7411 and 6000. 900 even so it went even beyond its uh, limitation a data legend is for m2a cpu definitely not for the others yeah switching to crucial p2 because it's pc express 3 it doesn't matter if you put it to m2a cpu or m2 bsb you get more or less the same result this means that m2a cpu is limited by the ssd so it runs at PC Express 3 by 4 Okay, perfect. So you have seen how important is the place you are using your SSD. If you plan to use an SSD only with a 10 gigabits per second enclosure, it makes no sense to get a very fast SSD. Of course, this changes if you want to use an enclosure which is capable of reaching 40 gigabits per second. Yes, you can use a data legend because you will go beyond that. But with uh, 10 gigabits per second enclosure, it doesn't matter how fast is the SSD, you see what you get. A data legend 960 max is way faster than Crucial P2. And it's very important to know before you buy what is the capability of your PC or laptop or whatever. This doesn't mean if you buy a very fast SSD, it will not perform well, but you will not get any performance gain. The performance gain is when the port or slot supports it, or the adapter, because you have also adapters that support different speeds. Perfect, I hope you've enjoyed it and you learned something. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.